what up everybody today is the first tutorial I have on Adobe Photoshop CS6 the new one yes it is and um, I'm gonna be started doing tutorials now on Adobe Photoshop to show you my skills and teach you my skills so I hope you enjoy this this is my first tutorial and I'm gonna be doing a text effect that I actually um, learned a while back but now I've actually found the perfect font to do it in and I've perfected it basically and let's get started with this so um, I'm gonna go up to the top left to where file is and create a new canvas by hitting the new button. Once this is open up, you wanna set your width to 1920 and the height to 1080, which is obviously the HD ratio. And um, the resolution of this is normally set to 72. And we wanna bump this up to 300 if we want to make it print quality. Now, if you're making a print quality, it's going to make it much more clear if you use the 300 than the 72. So, um, once we're done, I'm going to actually save this in 300 so it'll have a better quality of an image. And if I want to print it later, I can actually go do that. And afterwards, I want to click the OK button. And now that this is actually popped up, my canvas is popped up now, I want to hold on Control and hit the minus button to zoom out and make it 50. At the bottom here, you can actually see. Uh, you want to hit your text tool, click in the center, and you want to set your height or uh, size of your text to 260. Obviously, make it bigger if you chose 72 dpi. And you're going to type out an E, set the color to black. Once that is done, we can just go ahead and move it here. While this is selected, we want to hold on Control and Alt. Sorry, shift and alt, shift and alt, and just drag, click and drag, and then do it again until you have seven. E F F E C T. We're gonna make the the actual text say effect. So I'm just gonna remove these to the top. So basically rearrange them and then from the beginning that's already an E so that's fine the second one however needs to be an F so we're gonna make that an F and then we're gonna make this one an F then we're gonna make this one an E so we leave it like that and this one a C and last but not least we're gonna make this one T so once that is done oh not left there we go so once that is done, we're going to group this. So what you want to do is going to select the first layer, then hold on shift and hit the last layer. This will automatically select all of them and then you can hold on control and G to group them. Afterwards you can just call this group text or whatever you want to call it. Now uh, you can just grab the whole group. By grouping this we set an advantage to it so we can control all at the same time as you can see. But now what we want to do is just Click the group and then hold on control and click the background layer and then center the center the plot in, in the center of our canvas by going to your move tool and then using the vertical alignment and then the vertic uh, horizontal centers. There you go. So now that is centered, we can just go ahead and now start editing. So now I want to take my E and E layer and then double click it to open up the layer styles and then go down to gradient overlay and then select angle now once that is done I want to set this to 90 oh sorry it's already set, selected to 90 I want to select it to 0 and I want to just I can actually go in now and actually move this around by clicking and then holding and moving around so what I want to do is I just want to align this quick and then make kind of an E and then change my gradient to a lighter color obviously from black to a gray as you can see that works well so you, if you like this gradient you can just hit new and it will automatically save here so once that is done I want to actually duplicate the effect to all my other layers so you want to hold on control and alt and click the FX and just drag it all the way down until you get all the others once that is done you have to go ahead and edit the others obviously 
and then go back to gradient overlay and then just drag until you get like a cool where you want it to be which is there and then I want to duplicate the layer again for the F and the E can stay the same the C however has to change let me just move this along as you can see I messed that one up so I'm going to change that Then the C, which you come to again, we're going to make this to the center, so we'll put it somewhere there-ish. And for the T, last but not least, I'm going to add one, what can we do, can we change the angle for this one? Why not? Normally you used to do it down here, but anyway, once that is done, you can now see that you have your text effect and you want to kind of bump the size up by holding clicking your group and then make sure you go to your move tool and then show transform controls and hold on shift and alt and just drag out shift and alt keeps the ratio so you won't lose quality after you click enter and as you can see it's done much better now we can just bump up make this thing cool and add a cool background and then we sort it. Afterwards I use this gradient which is orange and like a kind of a faded yellow. The codes for these are FF9C00 and then you have for the yellowish kind of one FFCC00. Pretty, pretty similar, almost the same. And now you can see that once I'm done with that, I can actually make a cool little kind of give it a better effect. So double click the actual layer tab or the group tab in that case. So once my layer tab is open, I can actually go ahead and start editing different textiles and what I want. So I can edit small things like the inner shadow, which I'm going to add, which I got the inner shadow. Make sure the distance is set to zero, otherwise you'll get like a kind of an angle like where the light's supposed to come from. And we don't use it like it from the centers or actually coming from the sides. And then I want to bump up the size to about what could we put 60. Once that is done. Afterwards I actually wanna change my opacity to 75 which makes it look much more better and pulls it apart from the actual uh, background and then I'm done. Now that I've added this, you can see that the group actually has a effects now and now that is done. Under our group we have our other layers which is each individual text and then we are done. You can actually obviously make a cooler background than I have um, I've just did this for a tutorial to show you how this is done and you can go ahead and have fun with this. Peace. I hope this tutorial is useful for you. This was my first one and on the next one I'm going to show you something better with a text effect which I've actually already done. So peace. Look forward to the next tutorial guys.